That was it. That was that, that was it. That was it. That was about as hard as we can do. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, but let's be honest, it's mostly boys. And all wrench enthusiasts out there, have you ever wondered if a pipe wrench could double as a self-defense tool? Who would wonder such a thing? I am sure plenty of people have asked that exact question. Maybe even put it in a YouTube comment. Nah, highly unlikely. Shut up. Wow, someone woke up on the wrong side of the bed today. I slept on the floor. Why'd you do that? I don't know. <laughs> I'll be taking beatings from different size wrenches to see which one is the ultimate weapon of choice. Will the handheld wrench be enough to take down an attacker? Or will you need to upgrade to the magnum sized pipe wrench to get the job done? Why do you have a wrench that big? To hopefully get the job done. What kind of job are we talking? A big one, it's a big job, and I'm the job. Let's go. Wrench you, pipe you. <laughs> no, don't, no, no. <laughs> well, before we start beating me with the pipe wrenches, I wanna see what they can do on something that isn't me. So we're gonna smash this pumpkin because it's almost the season, almost the spooky season. We'll be using the largest of the pipe wrenches I have, the 48 incher. This is my favorite wrench. <laughs> Why'd I go sunny? <laughs> 48 incher. My favorite pipe wrench. That was, that's better. Good job. Yeah. I lay a lot of pipe with this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I said it. <laughs> Did your pumpkin hit you or? <laughs> Use your words, Mark. What happened? We do a take two. <laughs> <laughs> Splitter clean in half. Take that back. Pretty much four pieces. It's beautiful. Hold on. Yeah, it's a pretty tough pumpkin. Yeah, that's what I was expecting. Gotta warn me when you're just smashing things. I just saw an object that needed to be destroyed, so. You looked very manly with a 48 inch wrench. Thank you, plumber Mark. You really get the men and boys and girls and women going. Why does it have to be all those things? I don't know why I went with boys and girls, but I tried to include everybody and it was a bad idea. <laughs> I think we learned that uh, the 48 inch wrench can do a lot of destructive damage, especially to pumpkins. But the question is, what can it do to a human? We're not gonna start with this. We got three different wrenches, ranging from one pound, five pound, then 17 pounds. We're gonna start with the one pound and move on up and observe the data. I do love me some data to observe. Yep, that's what we're doing. Just observing data, learning. I didn't go to school for this. I just went to school for pipes, not third thing. Plumbing. You went to school for plumbing. Yeah, same thing. I don't know how I feel about plumber, Mark. It's a Marco. It's a me, a Marco. <laughs> okay. You're doing a good job. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is where we make the big bucks. Only that. Only that. The only reason why you have viewers. Because I removed my clothes? Yeah. Yep, exactly. I don't, know, I don't know how to feel about that statement. I think I have viewers because they like my entertaining personality and the knowledge learned. Nope, take them off. Okay. Can't see the data with uh, my uh, overalls on, so. Are you wearing jeans <sighs> over jeans? <laughs> Just, you know. I figured what's the second most likely thing a plumber would wear. Stupid Americans. What was that accent? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so I figured, you know, a George would be an alternative plumber attire. Also, I just like me a nice pair of jorts. Well, I agree. Your range of motion is probably like- It's an immaculate. Yeah. Like, let, me sh let me see the- Show us your butt crack. Uh, you like your splits? Your split spread? Uh, I can't, my overalls are still on. Oh, well. well Got it. I'll wait. <laughs> Ah! Oh! <laughs> I used to be more flexible! <laughs> See your range of motion while we're waiting. 
<laughs> it's a motion. <laughs> There's some range there. Yeah. I wish I was Luigi. <laughs> what? You think Luigi's more flexible? Yeah, he's definitely like a. He's more loosey goosey. Okay. Yeah, I haven't followed Mario lore enough. So, <laughs> starting off with the 10 inch, one pound wrench. First attack we're gonna do with it, I am thinking of a flat slap. Let's go about 75% power. Do you think this will hurt? I mean, I imagine it won't feel good. Compare it to uh, a crowbar. I mean, they're both metal, but this is a little bit more like dense in areas. So I think this could be worse. Well, let's find out. What the person? 75. I got to take off these gloves. It's very slippery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it stings. It's uh, definitely a stinging pain there. To be expected, it's a slap with it, but let's go 100% power now with the slap. Then we'll do a more blunt strike. I won't touch it up at this time. You say so. Mm, yeah, yeah. Ooh, a little, little bit of a... A little gash. Yeah, a little... Cutting data there. Interesting, interesting. It's probably, probably, you know, that part just cutting into me. That's important data for the bigger wrenches. Well, let's uh, use this end right here. It's like a little hammer. Boop, 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 boop. What's the sound I'll make when I hit you? Okay, I like that noise. Oh, boop. Did the boop after. I forgot the boop. Yeah, it was a little late. Yeah, a, little, a little late on the boop. Uh, I, I got kind of scared. I hit you in your thigh and not an important vein right here. Yeah, 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 you're right. All right. It's tolerable. I'd, uh, obviously, you know, taking that to the head would probably be pretty bad, but I think most, most areas uh, a person would be fine. That's why plumbers wear hard hats. I don't think they do. I'm thinking like construction worker or something. Uh, safety first. You're right. They should wear hard hats. We need to change the industry standard. OSHA approved. Yes. I want a clamp attack. Ooh. A clamp attack. My favorite attack. Clamp attack. I want to explore every option that the pipe wrench offers. It's a very versatile tool uh, and potentially a very versatile self-defense tool. Uh, and that's what we're gonna try to find out today. So I'm thinking a clamp attack could be what we need. You know what the body builder and a plumber have in common? Enlighten me. They're both uh, pump iron. <sighs> I just... It seems forced. Yeah, it's just uh, like a plumber doesn't really pump iron. Only at your mom's. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> clamp attack, 75% power. Yeah, yeah, okay. We're gonna have to be careful with the clamp attacks moving forward. Oh. That's why. Oh. Kind of dug into me a little bit there. Oh. A little dig. Effective. Quite, quite effective. Um, I do think the, the blunt end was the most effective of this. Last thing I want to try with the, the one pound pipe wrench, because I don't know if we'll get the chance with the heavier ones, is a toss. Nice little throw. Because Imagine you have a couple of those on you. You know, your plumber fixing some pipes, someone comes to attack you, you know, you throw your one pound pipe wrench, pull out your fiver. This is how we kill turtles. Yeah, that's right, yeah, okay, yeah. That was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> one pound wrench toss into my leg. Oh. Oh. I don't, uh, I think we're good enough with that. You only nicked me and you broke a blood vessel. Where? Right here. Look at that. Oh. Gone. Destroyed. One more try, but a little later. Fine. One more chance. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's a hole there. <laughs> I hate the hole. The <laughs> What? Great success. Oh, wait. <laughs> Poor rat. <laughs> right there. Good hit, good hit, quality hit. I think that concludes the testing with the one pound, 10 inch pipe wrench. Moving on to the five pound, eight, 24 inch pipe wrench. That was so confusing. 
you know, it is what it is. We so have the married go. couple bickering on set. <laughs> uh! Guys, it's all right. It's okay. You say don't go. <laughs> we just got to work on our, like, you know, yeah. communication. I mean, like focus, like focus on hitting. Him. Why would you look at me if I'm counting down? Because you give the go. Well, you just let, like focus and wait for the go and then go. So we didn't get the slow-mo on the last <laughs> shot. <laughs> and now here's a majestic beast. If you can't tell, I like my new camera. We are moving on to the 24 inch five pound pipe wrench. I think it'll be much more effective uh, because it's heavier. We're gonna start with a slap attack and move from there. Marco feels bad. and. I feel like you should hit the me because I'm Italian and we uh, we share food and we share pain. Pain. That's so kind of you. You want to come over for later for pasta? No. I got. No. I don't. Wait. No. My mom no, no, will no, be no. so no, disappointed. It, 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 no, no, it's okay. Thank, thank you, though. I do want to hit you. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Marchio. I'm going to hit you with a slap attack. I'm not scared. I know you're not. Three, two. Oh, wow. <laughs> Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Come on. Three. I just die. I. Thoughts? You're a very weak plumber. I must be nice to you. And a very nice plumber. <laughs> well, based off that test, I think we should do a 50% power slap on me. I figure I was giving Mark about a good old 30-ish. 33. 33. 30, oh, maybe I did 33, I'm not sure. So we'll do a 50% power slap on me. 50% power slap with a five pound wrench. How was it? Delightful. Would you do 100 or is that too much? I'll do 75. 75. Uh, I, I agree. We say. We say. I won't react on this hit. I'll absorb the data as any good plumber should. Because plumbers go to the work site, assess, absorb, fix. You know, you're not the true plumber unless we see your ass crack. I think that's just a stereotype. Mark. Yeah, that's kind of rude. Yeah. That's, that's rude. That's true. rude. It's true. It's rude. It's a stereotype. Yeah. I won't react. I'll absorb the data, assess the situation, and fix the problem. And then everyone can like the video. Oh, God. Yeah, these are working man hands. Yeah. The handshake looks so HD. Give me a second. What are you doing? <laughs> are you cementing the deal with the wrench? I'm cementing the deal with the wrench. Fast forward this part. <laughs> and I can only go so fast. <laughs> <laughs> Plumber Mark's my least favorite character. <laughs> you made him. <laughs> to be fair, I just... Tell him what we're doing the day of, give him a costume, and say go, so. Uh. <laughs> End the prob. <laughs> that is improv this finest. Honestly, yeah, you should join an improv troupe after all this. No. <laughs> 75% power slap. No reaction. Do it. React. You want to. I'm absorbing. Analyzing. The problem there is I got hit with a wrench. Uh huh. I'm not sure I can fix that problem. Could hit you with someone else. I think that would just exacerbate the problem. Hmm. Of course. A wrench fix everything. No, it, do it doesn't. It fixes pipes. That's all that matters. I know, there's more to life than pipes. Not according to your mom. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm learning from the heavier wrench is it doesn't matter the attack. The fact that it's heavier makes it more painful. So we're gonna see if that holds true when we do a blunt attack. Let's do 50% power with this one, Mark. Blunt. 
You, you okay? Yeah. I'm just thinking about pasta. Well, can you dial it in? Focus. Well, maybe if you feed us, bring pasta, I'd be a much better mood. I don't even understand a word you said just then. Much... skibbity babbity boo Okay. <laughs> Wow, that, uh, that didn't sound good, huh? No. <laughs> that did not sound well. Sounded... You, got, you got a fact that in this is five times heavier. The weight, my and leg is 50 quivering is... unintentionally. Oh. It's fine, it's fine. That, that was... That's a side effect of what happened. That was, that was a little bit concerning. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I agree. I agree. Your left, your left eye looks a little bit. What's bigger? Looks bigger a for some bigger, reason. Than your right eye. I mean, look Easy at trick to make your quads look bigger. Bigger. Doctors hate it. Get the shit out of you. Mm-hmm. Have literal swelling. It won't look defined, but the mass is there. And it'll be hard. That's that's hard as a rock. Yeah, I guess it is harder. Yeah. Mm. Science. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do one more blunt trike, but we'll use the other end. Clamped, closed. We'll do about a 60% power hit. That sounds safe, right? Super safe. No. No. No, no hospital visit. Mm -hmm. Give me a pumpkin hat. Tis, I didn't think about that, but that's a good idea. Tis the season. Dog fight. Ah, ah. I was focused on the dogs. I didn't even see that. Someone threw a pumpkin at the plumber. <laughs> Before we move on to the final wrench, I want to see what happens when you jab. So it's like a spear. Spear attack. In previous items that we tested, I have found that tack to be weak. I guess I... Always expected it would do more, but maybe the pipe wrench is what we need for a good jab attack. So let's find out. Don't attack someone with a with a jab. You throw it at them. Great success. Damn it, you did a bore at me. I love a bore at me. 75% power jab, five pound wrench. Actually, that was a bad spot. That's like right in my IT band. I thought that. Let's let's move back to like here. Like here. Okay, there. Where? Okay, let's go there. Oh, pasta. <clears throat> yeah, no, it's not that effective. <laughs> <laughs> Probably just the, the leverage you get, right? You get more, more destructive force with the swing. Damn you, Douglas. Damn, boy. Running down my public road like that. The audacity. <laughs> the audacity to run down this public road. This is the Maya Street. Is your what? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the jab is not effective, I think. Let's move on. Biggest wrench. 17 pounds, 48 inches of hard, cold aluminum going into me. <clears throat> yeah, I can't wrap your brain around that one, huh? I don't know if it's possible. It can, it can go into me. Well, it can't go into you. That is the question. I don't know. <laughs> 48 inch aluminum wrench weighs 16.9 pounds. Let's just say 17. I want to start with a 50% power slap. 40% power slap. Into my good, good leg. I try my best. <laughs> I believe in you. You've been eating pizza and fixing pipes your entire life. This is what you were meant for. A pizza? A pizza, some pasta. I eat the mushrooms. Okay. Yeah. yeah I'm on, sorry. Jason. I'm sorry. How many mushrooms did you eat before this video? I'm sober. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mix of blunt, stinging, Definitely effective, definitely effective. I think we can do a touch harder. I can do that. That was it. That was, the, that was it. That was it. That was about as hard as we can do. Oh my God. 
Keep walking. Just walk that one off. Let me stretch that out a little bit. Help him out. Oh. 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 No, that helped. That helped. That helped. No, it didn't. It didn't help. Just... Yeah, I feel the I feel the weight behind it. You know, it's. Uh... You said a tad bit harder. I uh, did a lot harder. Yep, and uh, I learned a lot from that. Uh, mostly that you know, when you get hit with a heavier object, the more pain ensues. Science 101. I would say that's like 102 or 103 or something like that. It's a little bit more advanced science, I'd say. I can see you skipped science 101. Yeah. And then it you goes tested to it out. 200 level. So oh, yeah. Yeah. Two, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do a blunt attack. Same way we did before with this big old knob here. You like big knobs? I don't. No. I like big knobs. I don't like big no. knobs. Can I lie? No, I was going to say that. <laughs> I'd like a t-shirt like that. I'm glad you asked, Jake. Simply by going to the description underneath this video, you can find all my merch. Look how cool it is. So cool. And you can own this too. You can look cool. And if we see you in public with this merch on, we sign it and we take a picture with you. And a high five, at least a high five. A very nice high five and hand squeeze. Mm -hmm. Everyone loves a hand squeeze. I don't like the hand squeezes. Mm -mm. Everyone loves the hand squeeze. You can feel this true power. Mm -hmm. Okay, anyways. Some nice data from this lap. Some pretty immediate bruising. All right, 40% power blunt attack. Wow! No. Listen, you can fix my pipes for the rest of your life. Got just up here. <laughs> Good business. <laughs> oh, thank God. Okay, I don't think we can go any harder than that. Oh my God. Damn. <laughs> I'm sick. <laughs> no, take your time. A little bit of a pickle. Stupid mother. <laughs> it's your leg. Go bigger. This leg might be a different size though. It's not. It's not. We call this one the wrench twister. No, 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 no. <laughs> wow, what a dumb idea. <laughs> I swear I just get dumber and dumber with every idea. Or is, is it smart? Is it so stupid that it's smart? Yes. If it's science, yes. It's learning what not to do. Yeah, exactly. So what we're gonna do here is an opened wrench attack. It would be a perfect fit, no damage. It'll, it'll fit the right on. I measure. You did measure, which gives me so much comfort. You won't feel a thing. No. You ever talk to a pipe and say, I say ow? No, I say, thank you. I'm not a pipe though. You look like one. What's that mean? Take it how you want. I'm a very convenient object that transports fluids. Yes, and you fit into a lot of other pipes. Pretty rude. Take it how you want. I'm taking it poorly. Mm. You're, a, you're a poor pipe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's no way you're gonna hit that right. There's no way! <laughs> no, there is no got way. it, there is got no it. way. It's the money shot. <laughs> Grand finale. <laughs> there's no fucking way this goes good. <laughs> It's like a glove. <laughs> a clean. Oh, little cuts. Oh, I sorry. I sorry. Oh, little, little cuts. Oh. I would say this is a decent sized cut. Yes, but it was, that was a good fit. It was. Actually, I'm pretty impressed. I, I, did I, expect, I expected to get stabbed a little bit more. Well, we could try again. No, no, no. no? Yeah. Uh, I think it's safe to say this one would be lethal no matter how you use it. But uh, I'll come back in a couple days and give you my closing thoughts on pipe wrenches. You got some pasta sauce dripping, is it? No, we don't. We, uh, oh. we don't talk about that. That's, uh, that's just some data. When, when are you going to let my friend Luigi out of the basement? Luigi stays in the basement. He must be 
He must be fixing your pipes. Yeah. I got a pipe issue down there. He's a little slow. That's why he's my second-hand man. He is slow. But fast. Fairly fast. No. No. In fact, I don't even know if Luigi's alive anymore. I think I downloaded the wrong Super Mario Brothers movie. No, this is the right one. Yeah. This is, this is it. This is it. Mm-hmm. Do, me, do me the outro song. <laughs> it's time for the pipe wrench data review. Four days after the experiment, I had scabs and significant bruising on my left leg from the two smaller pipe wrenches I was hit with. On my right leg, the only visible damage I have is a scab I received from the largest pipe wrench. However, due to the weight of that wrench, I suspect I suffered more deep tissue injuries on my right leg, hence the lack of visible bruising. So with all this data I gathered, I can now safely conclude that pipe wrenches would make for for very effective self-defense tools. I have no doubt in my mind that they're 100% capable of breaking bones or delivering lethal force, especially when swung or thrown at full power. But to answer the question of how much wrench is enough wrench, simply put, I think it comes down to how much wrench you can effectively wield and handle. Obviously, the heavier the wrench, the more damage you could deliver, but even the smallest of pipe wrenches would be very effective self-defense tools in the right hands. But those are just my thoughts. I would love to know what you all think down in the comments. Also, be sure to check out my Patreon by clicking the link in the description to see deleted scenes from my videos. Thanks for watching and consider yourself knowledge. <sighs> Not sure if I can use the word knowledge like that, but it sounds kind of cool. Like you just got knowledge. <sighs> I don't know. I need to work on that.